What's going on sauce makers? My name is Mark and welcome to Sauce Stash. Today, we're talking about the jackfruit. So the jackfruit is a large fruit from the jack tree that is believed to have originated in southern India about two to three thousand years ago. It's now widely cultivated in tropical regions around the world, anywhere from Southeast Asia, South America, and the Caribbean. A single jackfruit tree can produce two to three tons of fruit a year, and they range anywhere from 10 to 80 pounds. This one is 15 pounds. The jack tree is in the same family as the fig and breadfruit trees. Now, the jackfruit, sometimes referred to as the miracle fruit, has a taste in between a banana and a pineapple. Not really a meaty taste, even though a lot of people use it as a meat replacement. That's what we're gonna be doing with this one today. Once this guy's roasted and coated with some barbecue sauce, it surprisingly tastes just like pulled pork. Let's get this guy ready to be roasted, ready to be coated in some barbecue sauce, and there's just a few steps in between. So one thing about the jackfruit is the insides are really sticky. So we're gonna coat our knife with some non-stick spray. A lot of times people recommend using some coconut oil or like a heavy cooking oil, like a vegetable oil. Um, and people even sometimes recommend to coat the outside of the fruit. I'm just gonna give my knife a quick spray. I'm gonna give the jackfruit a spray. Now you can tell the jackfruit's ready to be cut open because it's gonna go from a bright green color to uh, have some brown spots on it and it's gonna have a little bit of a soft touch to it. When you first get it, it's gonna be pretty hard, but now it's actually pretty pliable. You can squeeze it in. So to cut the jackfruit, we're gonna cut it in half lengthwise, and we're just gonna start at the top, and you can see people have a hard time cutting these things, but they're really not that bad. Perfect, perfect, look at this. So the seeds we're gonna to wanna to save because you can actually roast these seeds. Supposedly they taste pretty good. I've never had a roasted jackfruit seed. And we're gonna have a few different bowls that we're gonna be using. One for the seed, one for the pieces that we're actually gonna eat, the fruit section, which is actually this pod. Now on the outside of the pod is a fibrous part. That's not the part that we want. Now this part right here is edible. And honestly it tastes like bubble gum. So we can cut this in another I've seen lots of different forms of preparation of this, and I just know what we want to do is get it to the point to where we can pull these pods out. This is the part that we're going to turn into a meat replacement. The smell of this stuff is super fruity. I have heard that this is the bubblegum fruit, and it really is. I mean, it's, it's pretty tasty. Now you can see how I'm doing this as I remove the core. It's kind of exposing the fruit pods a little bit easier. Now this jackfruit is a pretty ripe jackfruit as you can see with the color of the pods. But some of these pods are a little bit lighter. Those are gonna be the ones that are gonna give us a little bit more meaty texture. I kind of let this one sit just a little bit too long once we got it from the store. It's almost something that would remind you of something from an alien movie. So fun fact, jackfruit is the national fruit of Bangladesh. So at this point, you have your jackfruit, you can actually throw this in a blender, add it to a smoothie, it's gonna be delicious. We're gonna turn it into a vegan pulled pork barbecue sandwich. Now, I know what you're thinking, I've already said it tastes like mango, it tastes like a gum kind of thing. Once you cook this up and roast it, it's almost indistinguishable from pulled pork. No joke, surprisingly. Hang out, let me clean this up, and then I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so we have our jackfruit washed and dried, and we've also removed any extra seed pits or any extra pieces of the fibrous part around the seed pod. We're gonna season it with some barbecue rub style seasonings. Uh, I'm actually gonna start with a onion, about a half of an onion, two cloves of garlic, but then I also have one teaspoon of cumin, one teaspoon of paprika, a teaspoon of chipotle powder, a teaspoon of chili powder, half of a teaspoon of black pepper, about a half a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of vegan Worcestershire, and about a teaspoon of mustard. Also have about one and a half cups of vegetable broth. So first let's get our onions and garlic in the skillet. And we're gonna wanna use a large skillet for this. So the skillet's on a medium heat. We're gonna add about a tablespoon of olive oil. So once the onions have cooked down a little bit, 
became a little bit more translucent, we're gonna add our jackfruit. Now for this jackfruit, we actually have a lot. I'm using a large skillet. We have about six cups of jackfruit. So if you have a favorite rub that you like to use on chicken or pulled pork, it'll work great on the jackfruit. The only difference is, is the jackfruit has a little bit of sweetness. So if you have any sugars in your rubs, pull that out. So we got this mixed in. Let's start adding all of our seasonings. I'm gonna add the mustard and the Worcestershire sauce, and then just let this simmer for about five minutes. So the next step here is to add our vegetable stock. So we're gonna add the stock, cover it, and let this simmer for about 45 minutes. We'll be back. Okay, so this has been simmering for about 45 minutes. We're gonna transfer this over to a foil-lined baking sheet. Okay, so now we're gonna throw this in the oven at 350 degrees for an hour and a half. Let's get that moving. <laughs> oh, man. Barbecue jackfruit. Now at this point, you can essentially, don't really need to pull it. You're just gonna get it off of the foil here. This is some meaty, pulled, barbecue-y goodness. We're gonna kinda just kinda tear it off of the top. I mean, look at this. It's just like meat. It's just like pulled pork. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. So I am going to put this into a separate bowl here. And then from here, we can make our sandwich. So you can put more barbecue sauce on it if you want. You could use whatever your favorite barbecue sauce is. So let's load up this sandwich. Look at that. I mean, that looks unbelievable. <laughs> I mean, I mean, this is a vegan pulled pork sandwich. Some people call it fooled pork barbecue jackfruit. Okay, let's give this a try. Mm. Oh my God. I mean, it even looks like pork when you're looking at it. That's perfect. That is perfect. Mm. It's just this perfect barbecue taste. You can't beat it. And I know I could fool some friends with this. Well, that's what I got, sauce makers. What is jackfruit? How do you cook it? Why is it just like meat? How do you turn it into barbecue? I hope you guys liked this one. I had a lot of fun with it. So please click the like button if you liked it too. And if you're new here, click the subscribe button and click the little bell so that way you get notified every time I upload a new video. I'm gonna be uploading every Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday with a live stream every Monday night at 7 p.m. Eastern time. And if you would like, find me on social media. Have you ever made anything like this? Shoot me a picture, I would love to see it. I'm Sauce Stash on pretty much everything except Instagram. I'm the Sauce Stash guy. So thanks for watching. Have a good one, sauce makers. I'm gonna finish this sandwich. I might make myself another one. Oh my God, it's so good. It's so good, that's like pork.